My name is Roman and I would like to show you the products of Turlex at this year's Abandon Road 2016. So let's start over here. Turlex uh, is a manufacturer and developer of embedded computer modules. They're mainly ARM based. We have two different families. The smaller one is called Calibri and there's a slightly bigger form factor called Atalis. I don't want to talk too much about the different products, so I just point you at the latest one, the, the new additions we had this year at this show. So we'll start over here with the IMX 7D. That's um, a new SO and SOM based on the NXP IDOTMX 7. It's a brand new processor. Uh, the highlight with that product is definitely efficiency. So it's a really low power but still high performance module. And the other addition of this year is uh, the Palace TK1. TK1 is a processor from NVIDIA. It's the Tegra K1. It's a quad core 815 up to 2.2 gigahertz. And we also put that on our form factor with the Apalis modules where we have a variety of different pin compatible modules. Then over here on the carry board side, uh, we have a couple of standard carry boards. The ones you see here are the small form factor carry boards. Uh, the latest addition here is the, we call it Aster. It's a carry board which features an Arduino Shield compatible interface as well as a Raspberry Pi pinout. So it's easy for evaluation. You can easily attach the Arduino Shields or Raspberry Pi as additional um, PCBs and you can evaluate uh, all different kinds of um, peripherals. Uh, so you wonder where the module goes in here on that module, but it's on the back side. Uh, of course, also we have evaluation boards uh, for both uh, module families where you have all the pins available. Uh, but I don't want to talk too much about them. So let's go and see a couple of our demos. The first demo is actually regarding the IMX7 product. As you can see here, it's the Calibri Ida MX7. The, the good thing about that product, it's uh, heterogeneous core architecture, that means there are two different kind of cores inside. There's an a, a Cortex M4 core and a one or two Cortex A7 uh, cores. And the good thing about that demo, it really shows both cores. So the, the whole control and control loop actually is running on the M4 on the 3R cups. And then you have here a couple of graphics. Uh, it's actually using Qt from our partner, the Qt company. Um, and uh, that one is running on Linux and of course uh, does the, an easy uh, integration of frameworks like Qt and of course also communication towards the outside world. Um, the whole demo was built by our partner Ant Micro. They did the mechanics, they did the control loop on the M4 and the integration with Qt. Over here we have something totally different. Uh, it's more about software on that side. We have here a Polygree T30 module running Windows 10 IoT 4. Um, the demo here actually, you see the hardware down here, which is hooked up to uh, the display over here. And um, so the good thing about uh, our product right now is it's, it has full uh, graphics acceleration. I mean, of course, the demo here is not that crazy, but um, yeah, it's quite responsive and you can have exactly the same application running on a PC as well. I mean, it's fully software compatible on whether it's running on an ARM-based system or on a PC-based system. Then over here, the next demo we have. Um, that's, again, uh, on the latest hardware. You can't see it under the heatsink here, but this is the Apalis TK1 module. Um, here we have it running Android 5.11. Uh, we don't do Android by ourselves. That was done by Ant Micro, our partner. And, um, we just actually got that product about a week ago and we already have it running with Linux and of course Android. Um, the product itself will be available towards uh, end of Q2 this year. Okay, over here we have another really interesting demo. It's using the NVIDIA Tegra K1. Uh, the demo itself is not using our module because the risk of having a demo with our module that we just get like 10 days before the show was a little bit too high, so we decided to go with the Jetson, which is the, the development board from NVIDIA. 
And um, for the demo, it's actually, uh, as you can see, it's a car, self, uh, self-running car. There is a, a monitor in front of the car, and uh, there is a camera on top of the car, which uh, does an image recognition shown on that uh, screen over there. As you can see here, this is the picture shoot by the video on the car or by the camera on the car. And so it does really the, the sign recognition. And that one is done by deep learning. As you can see down here, it's kind of small. Uh, it shows the percentage of how sure it is that it's a certain, um, a certain sign. That demo was also done um, with our hardware. And uh, the software itself is done by our partner and Micro. As, uh, they have some really good experience in this area of vision and computing, and it's also on the CUDA, which is available on the TK1. Okay, so let's go over here. There is another really interesting demo. It's different to all other demos we have. It's not just a demo of one single hardware or one single software aspect, it's a complete system. So it's basically using the third cloud from Microsoft. It's the Azure IoT Hub, and we have different devices, of course, our devices, our modules connected to the cloud. But let me introduce you to Walter. He's a senior software developer at Toradex, and he will explain a little more about that demo. Um, just give us some word about that demo and uh, the main points about it. Uh, this demo is uh, meant to demonstrate connectivity uh, using Azure IoT Hub. Uh, we support the Azure IoT Hub SDK on all our different platforms. Uh, it's an open source SDK, so we are uh, also able to port it on Windows and Compact. And uh, here we have a uh, management system. Uh, no, I would. I would uh, it's uh, driven by uh, keyboards uh, uh, performing different functions. The first one is on the iOS board uh, with the quality T30, uh, so a Tegra 3 based model, and the DVD is uh, and for license plate recognition. I can put my car here, the system is recognizing the license plate uh, from a USB camera provided by Shikino, our partner, so I can park my car and then uh, the entrance gate closed. Uh, all the interaction between the entrance gate uh, and the rest of the system are managed by a cloud-based backend developed by our partner Zuke. The second part of the system is the part that uh, manages the uh, low-level uh, hardware interfaces with the LEDs, with the sensor, with the servo engines driving the entrance uh, and exit gate. Uh, this system is uh, running Windows Embedded Compact 2013 and uh, uh, as hardware we use uh, uh, VF50, it's our entry-level model uh, on a Viola carrier mode. So this is quite a, a cost-effective solution that can be used to drive many different other interfaces and also connect to a IoT hub. And uh, last but not least, uh, we have uh, to pay for the parking. And the payload kiosk is uh, running Linux uh, on an IX6 dual core model. And uh, we have a kiosk application developed by Qt Company, uh, of course, using their own libraries. Uh, this is a good sample of a kiosk based UI. Uh, we can select our language. Uh, we have nice transition effect between the different screens. And now we can pay for the parking. The system has required uh, required information about the pricing uh, and so on from the cloud. We got it back from the cloud. And now we are ready to pay. We have an NFID card, so we can quickly pay. And now we are ready to buy our, our parking lot, and we can we can go. The main point of this system is really to demonstrate how we can have different devices uh, based on different kind of hardware, running different operating systems, uh, collaborating together to provide a solution. Uh, other parts of the solution are the management console. And this console is showing the state of the different parking lots, the two parking lots we are here in real time. So from any web browser, you can in any moment see what's happening in the different parking lots. If someone is paying and leaving, in a few seconds we have uh, the state of the system updated reflecting this change.
we also have a management console device. Uh, this is uh, at the uh, company booth here at the Embedded Viewer. And uh, we also have a public display, the kind of road signs you can see on many roads here in Europe, uh, showing the number of free parking spots in the different locations. Uh, this is also a sample of our having a cloud-based backend can provide useful services because this information can be distributed from, from the cloud-based backend to all the different devices. Uh, an additional service we can provide is a bit for a spot and this is something you can do usually with traditional uh, parking spot management, uh, parking management system. But the heavy cloud-based backend make it really easy to integrate with the web content to do reservation on this kind of things. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you saw our demos that we have here at our booth. Uh, we'll then also quickly go over to our partner booth, uh, Quick Company, and also Microsoft, to show you the other parts of this demo. Alright, so we're here at the Microsoft booth and I also want to show you the, the part of our demo that we already explained before, the cloud parking demo. So that one here is just a really small model also of the street with a, a public display and that little device you can see over here is actually also connected to the Azure Cloud over the IoT Hub. And what we do here is we just show some general information, of course, quickly where our booth is located. It is the most important thing here. But also there's other information like how many parking lot spaces are available on certain parking lots and so on. So everything connected to the cloud, information coming from the cloud directly to this device. Then uh, I quickly go to our hub here at the Microsoft group. What you see here is two different devices. It's um, one is running on Linux. It's a i.mx6 based product. And uh, it's a similar interface that you see saw before at the parking lot demo on our booth. Um, this application was uh, developed by Qt, by the Qt company. Uh, it shows the current status of the, the parking system. And there is actually also a webcam at our main demo, so you can actually really see what happens in real time. So right now we see obviously there seems to be a car arriving and um, there will be parking, or probably it's, a, it's even a book. So it's a booked car that will arrive in the next couple of minutes. The second demo over here, that one runs Windows 10 IoT Core. It's again on our Calibri T30 module. And it shows again just uh, the overall overview of the parking system. So we have uh, two parking lots that you see at our booth, but there are more parking lots available. Of course, they are simulated or emulated even uh, with the cloud. So that we have some more information. Um, and this part is basically really just reflecting the backend and the information, and it's all developed uh, by our partner, Suke. We're here at the Qt booth, and here also, as I said before, um, we have another part of our parking lot demo, the cloud based parking lot demo. Well, essentially, it's uh, the same demo as we have running in our booth at the parking demo. It's again the, the payment terminal. And since it was developed by this company running on our hardware on the iDynamic 6 uh, device module, uh, they also want to show it here as a real application. So again here, uh, as we saw before, it's possible to select your number plate, um, whatever it is, and then pay for it using an RFID tag, and it's paid and we can leave the, um, the parking space. Um, and over here, of course, also you might know that guy over there. By the way, its name is TAC, which means Tordex and MicroQt, which are the three companies who work on that uh, robot. Okay, thank you very much.